Hey guys, it's Kirk from I Am Music. Hey, we're back for the third video on the various steps that you can follow to install and configure the Pianotech VST on Worsi OAX. Now, don't let the fact that we've got three videos scare you to death. Matter of fact, I think there's going to be a fourth one. We're just trying to keep them reasonably short and in smaller bite-sized chunks. Let's pick up where we left off. Uh, in video one, uh, we talked about this prompt, and we picked 16 VST sounds in our install. In video two, we showed you how to set up five presets in the Pianotech VST, and now in this video, we're going to kind of show you how those things come together. Okay, the good old uh, OAX home screen, I call it. <clears throat> Notice on our upper manual, we have something called the New York Steinway D Jazz Piano Selected. Well, that is a sound from our VST. So now, how did we make that happen? Remember, in the uh, first video, when we installed the VST, we asked for 16 VST sounds. So what does that really do? Let me click Sounds. And uh, we're in user sounds, user, and let me click uh, VST sounds only. So when you pick the number of sounds, remember there, there's an option of 1, uh, 16, and 128, I believe it was. So that creates these um, voices, I'm going to call them, in OAX. Okay, so, and notice we've got the first one already set up for the Steinway uh, D Jazz. So let me load that, <clears throat> and that's why that shows up there. So now let me double click this for you, and let's click Edits, and you see some stuff here, and uh, the MIDI channel, uh, these, these would MSB, LSB, that's related to the bank, and then the program change. Now let me bring back my little cheat sheet. Uh, <clears throat> so let's show you how that works. Let me move this over a little bit. So now what happens here is we're saying on the organ, on any MIDI channel, when, it, when you see the SYS here, that means System Assigned MIDI Channel, and in this case it's assigning it to Channel 1, we're going to send a program change over of 0. Now, a little bit confusing. What that really means is to the, P, to the uh, VST, Program Change 1, now in this case OAX is always one, uh, one digit lower than the program ch change that we actually want in the in the uh, VST. Um, so program change one on any MIDI channel. So that says here any MIDI channel that gets selected by the system by OAX. In this case, it's channel one. We'll load a preset, and the preset it's going to load is the uh, New York Steinway D Jazz, and that's what I call this thing. So now when I touch that. Uh, or select that sound in OAX and hit the load button, OAX issues this series of commands which maps to this VST and voila we have a Steinway D Jazz piano. So let's come back and add program change 2 for the classical recording so you can see how that's done. Let's click on sounds and load a new sound. Let me go to VST sounds again so the list is a little bit shorter. Let's pick sound number one, the next one in the list, and load it. And now let me double click up here. And let's click Edit. And let me bring back our little cheat sheet so that you can follow along and I can remember what the heck I'm doing. So, uh, again, MIDI channel, SYS means any MIDI channel that the system assigns. The system is OAX. And program change, remember, is always one value less than the VST expects. So it wants program change two. What that means is we're going to really send it program change number one. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, I won't bother to explain it. Uh, it's just one position less than this list is, is all you really need to remember. So the organ's going to send over on MIDI channel 1, program change number 1, which is really program change number 2 to the VST. The VST is going to load a preset called the Steinway D Classical Recording. Now, when I uncheck Edit, I should get a prompt, and yes, I would like to save this. 
And uh, the, so that's Piano Tech Sound 1. Let's rename that to, uh, let's click New and say uh, Steinway Classical for short. I forgot the full name, but that's good enough for our example in the video. Okay, let's click Save. And now let's come out and notice uh, Steinway Classical is there. Yeah, like the other two videos, we're going to kind of cut this one abruptly short and just put on our little summary here. And we'll come back and do yet another video to see if we can't complete the whole discussion. But uh, what we tried to show you here in video three is that from the OAX side, uh, you're going to take one of the VST user sounds that was created when you installed the VST and you're going to modify that user sound so that it sends on whatever MIDI channel you want. I recommend using the default of SYS. And then um, whatever program change you want to send to your VST. And uh, on the piano tech side, remember we went into the global MIDI map and created a couple of presets that would load in the Steinway D Jazz, I think we looked at, and a couple other ones. And um, you want to make sure that on OAX that it sends a program change that is a value of one less than the program change over on the piano tech side. And once you do that, now you can uh, load those sounds up in OAX and from the OAX touchscreen, simply touch it and it'll send the appropriate commands over to the piano tech. As always, thanks for watching. Brace.